so what is my verdict on a raw food diet after about five years of being high fruit uh, raw to for basically high carb low fat vegan it's pretty much unsustainable long term to live a to live on high quality fruits you know um, and I see people who are 100% raw or promoting themselves 100% raw um, I met few of them and those who are 100% raw on YouTube are basically um, not really transparent they're putting videos maybe once a month like fully raw Christina and and even though like like Michael Arnstein and, and those people are you know like not transparent they're not putting like daily what I eat in a day videos you know so you can't really tell what they're eating and I was thinking before that it must be just like the um, when we live in uh, Europe or USA where you can't get enough fruit you know and the quality is bad I thought that by moving to Thailand and tropics is gonna it's gonna be a game changer and it's true for the seasonal fruit like if you come here doing like May, June, July, uh, August maybe you're gonna be you could live from like there is a high quality durian and stuff and you could you could easily live off from fruit but for the most part from like August all the way till all the way winter like there is not much like quality fruit and you could do it like that car is doing it but what he's doing is basically eating a 10 coconut Playing tennis, do activity that you love every single day. Just eating some coconuts. Oh wait, it's mangoes. Ten coconuts day? I don't think so. Right, so for dinner we're making some uh, dragon fruit gains and some few bananas gains. This is all yesterday's food. Some papaya gains. And sometimes you just have to find good quality fruit, you know. These dragon fruits are pretty good, but you know you have to shop around, look at different markets, and and sometimes you have to waste money and and be satisfied with uh, lower quality. So what I wanted to mention about a fruit raw food diet is that. You know, like it's it's pretty hard to get a uh, good quality fruit here, even here in Thailand. Uh, we've been to Chiang Mai, and it was kind of the same. Um, at the time, it was June, so you have to shop around really, and you have to find a time, maybe like all day, till you look at different markets and find the good quality. Of course, there is the good quality, but you just have to spend more time to look look for it and. Sometimes you have to spend more money as well. So if uh, if you see a cheap fruit, uh, it might not always be the good quality. <clears throat> Usually the fruit season in season is gonna be really good quality, but it's not always the case. So do I think that it's better to eat coconuts and avocados other than you know like to fill up really like to get like that car is doing? He's getting pretty much. Most, most of his calories are coming from coconuts and avocados on the raw food diet but I don't think it's necessarily better um, it's working for him definitely because I've seen him running I see him uh, running and cycling and swimming results and he's, he's faster than me so I definitely believe that raw food diet is uh, superior um, to a raw till 4 diet or even eating cooked starches um, however, I don't think it's uh, it's good for everyone to eat uh, that kind of uh, high fat diet because they're gonna fall off the deep end. For example, for me, uh, it's not so enjoyable to eat so many coconuts. I can eat, for example, one, maximum two coconuts and then I just feel like really fatted out and the, the heavy feeling it's even worse than having some, you know, some vegan restaurants or whatever it's a kind of the same feeling and you still want something sweet but you feel like heavy from the coconut so 
this is only for people who are really committed and and uh, maybe have some serious issues like my goal was to clear my skin and of course I feel much better on raw food as you can see my skin it's been just two days and it's much clearer so for me myself it's just a reminder to keep the cooked food really clean as well really low fat you know and and I believe that society should be uh, heading towards planting more fruit trees and more quality and over time we could be just like you know having so many varieties of fruit that we don't even know and that's the next topic of the video that I'm gonna talk about but definitely raw food diet I still believe in it it's still like I still feel amazing we just don't live in the world even in the tropics where you can get uh, high quality all the time to sustain yourself for all year round you know so don't be afraid to carb up on rice just keep the fat low you know if you eat uh, additional sodium you gotta sweat it out to exercise and otherwise you're doing a great job even if you're in Europe just fill up on starches it's better than to starve or to you know to fill up on something like that is raw but uh, it's disgusting you know if you don't if you don't have access to high quality fruit it's better to eat uh, starches otherwise you're gonna be just ravenous and on the carpet, you know emotional or angry like I've been past few days just like bought like four kilos of fucking dragon fruit and it was not sweet at all so imagine that frustration like you wanna be raw you bought so much fruit to eat during the day and it's even and even watermelon I bought like five kilo watermelon and that was my fruit for most of the day and it was all like rubbish you know basically I had to throw everything away so in that case it's bad to eat your rice 